Good afternoon and welcome to Pledge to Green. My name is Randy Park and I'm your host this afternoon. Pledge to Green is a nonpartisan political event jointly organized by Post Carbon Toronto and the East Toronto Climate Action Group. Post Carbon Toronto is a group of Toronto citizens working to transition Toronto into a sustainable, lower energy community. The Toronto East Climate Action Group is comprised of citizens interested in issues relating to climate change as it impacts the city and particularly East Toronto. I would like to extend a special thanks to Chris Chopik and his green economics realty company, Evolution Green, for his financial and administrative support for this event. We also have the support of many partner organizations whose logos have been displayed on the screen and are listed in the program. And finally, I would like to thank you for coming out to this event and demonstrating your interest in energy and environmental issues in our city. For the past half century, Western society, and especially North American society, has grown at a rapid pace. In fact, growth has been the byword of economics, politics, and the way we have physically organized our societies. This growth has been powered by the availability and consumption of large amounts of inexpensive energy. Let me say that again. The growth we have seen is only possible because of the consumption of large amounts of cheap energy. But there are signs this energy consumption cannot continue at this pace. On the supply side, Post Carbon Toronto's focus is on the increasing difficulty of extracting oil and natural gas to supply this energy. On the consumption side, East Toronto Climate Action Group's focus is on the effects on the environment of this energy use. Now, there are steps we can take in Toronto to address both these concerns. In fact, in the year 2000, a group of foresighted engineers, architects, planners, and politicians created an environmental plan for Toronto. It is a very good plan which reduces energy use and, as such, our impact on the environment. You may be excused if you haven't heard of Toronto's environmental plan, for in the six years since it was created, very little of the plan has actually been implemented, which is why we, you, and many of your candidates in the municipal election are here today. Pledge to Green was created to bring much needed attention, focus, and commitment to Toronto's environmental plan. In light of the upcoming municipal election, we are asking every single candidate to pledge to green. That is, to pledge to work towards the full implementation of the vision articulated in Toronto's environmental plan. Our website, pledgetogreen.ca, is keeping a running list of those who have signed on to this statement. I pledge to implement Toronto's environmental plan and attend an accountability session within 12 months. Many of your candidates will be signing the pledge right here this afternoon. Today we have a stellar lineup of energy and environmental experts to highlight aspects of Toronto's environmental plan. Before we move to the first speaker, I would like to explain that there are strict rules regarding the use of City Hall facilities during an election campaign to ensure fairness to all candidates. Although we have invited all the municipal can candidates to this event, and you will have the opportunity to witness many of them signing the pledge, the format of our event is such that candidates are not allowed to address the audience. However, I'm sure 